What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another Wax Party promo break sold out. 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball Hobby. Four box break. Three, uh, pick your team number three. All card ship. And again, at the end of the break, we'll take all the customer names, randomize them, and the top two get spots in the Wax Party promo. So actually, uh, number three is going to come from a sealed case. So there you go. Here's everybody that's in this break here. Ah, <laughs> well, man, Bengals won today. <laughs> Let's not bring up that stuff. Come on, that Joe Burrow RPA went up. You don't need no stinking promo spot. Just look at that Joe Burrow. Just blossom. All right, so these are four box breaks, so how about let's make three different stacks. So again, I, I am going to post another one. Nick told me I could, and it, it is going to be a promo break, but I don't know the remaining other ones, if it'll be a promo break or not. We'll find out. We'll find out uh, once I go through number four tomorrow with Joe, or Joe goes through number four. Oh, it went up already. Wasn't it like at 36, you said? People probably saw the game today, and they were like, holy sh... Holy. All right, so let's do a little dice roll. Four boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, crazy roll. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll just put like a little X so you guys know. It's from the same case. And Joe will just grab one of these stacks for tomorrow's break if it sells out. Yeah, that's what I was saying, right, Chad? So, like, if the if the Chiefs win, it's most likely <laughs> Bengals play <laughs> Bengals play the um, Chiefs, right? I want to say no, no, no. They play the Titans. No, no. Yeah, I'm confused right now because Titans are seven. If they win, for sure they're playing the Titans, right? Which would mean then then you play, uh, you guys would play the other winner of tomorrow's game, right? Yeah, there you go. I guess it's more like if the if the seven seed wins. Yeah, yeah. Oof. Let's just hope Pittsburgh doesn't win, man. I don't know if I want to play the Bills, especially if it's going to be in Buffalo. Is it going to be in Buffalo? think Pittsburgh will win either, but it's it's just Rebels playoffs, dude. You just never know. I mean, really, the uh, the the um, the Steelers haven't been playing bad football as of late. So, and you got experience with Big Ben. You know, you know those players are gonna play 100%. You know, for Tom Cobb, uh, for uh, with uh, with the coach, you know. Mike Tomlin, so. I don't think you can really ever underestimate the Steelers.
Henry's back, yeah. Henry will be back next week, so. I would want to play Town Hill too, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I wouldn't want to play Buffalo, in Buffalo. Especially how they won today, you know, against the Patriots who have kind of given them trouble. But, yeah, no. I think playing the Titans would be a better deal for the Bengals, but. Derrick Henry is back. I don't know how effective he's going to be, obviously, with his injury. I don't know. He's a running back, so you just never know. But, yes, the fact that he will be back is kind of a little scary. It was pretty amazing, though. Like, you know, no disrespect to, like, Jonathan Taylor, what he did this year. But, man, I remember, like, what is it, like, week 12 or so? Derrick Henry was still, like, top three in rushing yards, and he hadn't played for, like, how many weeks already? Like, four? <laughs> And, like, he was still up there. I'm like, Derrick Henry probably would have had a monster rushing year again if he didn't get injured. Also, my fantasy team probably must, would, have been must, would have been better. I lost Derrick Henry this year. I lost um, Russell Wilson for most of the year, especially when he came back. He kind of sucked. Um, I lost freaking Calvin Ridley for most of the year. I had a horrible year. In another year, league, I had John, I had a Josh Allen. He was monsters killing it for me in the first like five weeks. But then they went on that little slump, and he was barely getting any points. I was like, "What the hell?" I knew I should have picked up Hertz before the year. Hertz was a great pick if you had him in fantasy. All that dude was put up points. I just think, honestly, I, I just think playing in Buffalo would be a little different than playing in Tennessee. I'm a guy that likes to factor in the weather. I'm not saying Cincinnati can't play in the cold, because obviously where they are located, I'm sure they get the cold all the time. But I feel like Buffalo would be a little bit more scarier team. Because honestly, I mean, they could have been number one too. All of those guys could have been number one. I've never been in that low degree weather, but don't they say two degrees is a lot different from like 20? Well, let's just say this. Imagine if Derrick Henry played in Buffalo and having to go head-to-head -head with that guy in that two-degree weather is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Imagine having to tackle Derrick Henry in that two-degree weather. So, like, if the Titans ever play Buffalo, like, in the championship game or something. I guess that wouldn't happen, though. I guess it would be in Tennessee, but... I mean, Josh Allen would probably be really hard to tackle. But he's not. He's not a Derrick Henry, though. I know. It, when it gets to 40 degrees here, Chad, it's pretty cold. Like, I think there was a part last week. I think there was a day or two last week where I woke up, like, around maybe 4 in the morning to go to the restroom. And I checked the weather outside in Long Beach, and it was, like, 40 like two degrees and I was like holy shnike it's cold outside and I went outside in the balcony I was like man it's pretty cold out here but that's what you guys get like every day right so
You know what, guys? This Cardinals Rams game is so cheap on Monday. I kind of want to go. It's the tickets are like seventy five dollars. Like, yeah, I know it's in the high seats, but at the same time in LA, the, I don't know if you guys have been to SoFi, beautiful stadium. Uh, it don't even matter. I really wanted to make that Tampa Bay trip when my wife happened, but at the time the tickets were like three hundred fifty bucks. Flight tickets weren't cheap. Flight tickets were only like two forty round trip. Hotel was whatever, you know, like a hundred bucks. But I didn't, I didn't like that the game tickets were like three fifty plus fees. They did go down though. They're like one seventy five now, and I guess I should have just waited. Really rebel. I don't know what that feels like, man. I've been to Big Bear a handful of times growing up. I mean, 30 maybe degrees, maybe 25, 30 degrees is probably the lowest I've ever been. So, I mean, I can't really speak, but. Right now, when it's not like raining in LA, it's like the high of like 70 by the beach, the low of like, you know, like I said, maybe 45, 50 at night. So you know what's crazy is that like the sun does make a big difference here. Like how's that, how's that even possible? Like I'm just looking at your, your uh, weather channel. You said the high is 46, but the low is 38. It's like, this, like only like eight degree difference. How the hell in LA it's like 20 degree difference. I guess the sun does make a big difference, right? Oh, I wouldn't freeze, Chad. Have you seen this body? I'll never freeze. <laughs> My wife, on the other hand, she's so dramatic when it comes to how cold it is she'll be like it's freezing and it's like 55 60 degrees outside I just have those moments, Chad, where like, like I just said that last week when I did that, I just have those moments where I'm like, whoa, it's kind of cold. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying to particularly that I'm freezing. It's just more like, it hits me like, damn, it's actually pretty cold. But would I still be down to wear just a regular t-shirt with no sweater, no jacket? Yeah, for sure. You're almost gonna be here though, Ryan. You're almost here. Don't worry. Hey Chad, did you guys get any like tsunami warnings up there? With that uh, underwater volcano erupting earlier uh, earlier in the morning? Or tsunami advisory, I guess, not warning, I guess, but more than advisory. Sixty three degrees outside right now, I just checked. Here in Hermosa. Las Vegas is forty five degrees right now. It's cold. Alright guys, good luck. Let's uh pull you guys some heat. Freddie Freeman. Kyle Lewis, superstars. Buster Posey. Uh, Josh Bell, sick though. 
We got a Ryan Weathers autograph there for the San Diego Padres to 199. And an orange Josh Bell, 21 out of 25. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. where I'm at in Long Beach, I definitely would have been in the whole vicinity of a of a uh, tsunami if it ever did happen. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. And especially us here in Hermosa, we're also too close to the beach. Kyle Lewis, a little negative for the Mariners. Hopefully Kyle Lewis bounces back. I feel like I've heard a lot of people online just kind of gave up on this guy already. You know, wins rookie of the year and then has, what, major injuries? Oh, yeah, Kevin, how was it over there, dude? Was it a little scary? I heard they canceled it after a while, but, yeah, I'm sure in Hawaii it was pretty, pretty dangerous, right? I mean, there was, like, some time-lapse videos of here in SoCal where, like, you could see the waters on the dock rise. Like for an hour and then they went down and then they rose and went down. In Ryan's book, it's not going to count as a hit. <laughs> he wants Kellenic or nothing. <laughs> and Kyle Cody. Jazz Chisholm. Refractor. Mark Canna. To 99. Yeah, I know. Hopefully that guy can make it back, man. Max Fry, or Freed, I should say. We have Austin Riley, little pink speckle, to 350. Evan White. Hayes. Jorge Mateo? Autograph. Oh, it was backwards. Padres, Jeremy Port. Mount Castle. Ryan Garcia for Detroit. Alan Murdoch. Oh, okay. So, if the siren does go off, Kevin, tell me this. I, I don't really know, and you can make fun of me if you want. But if the siren goes off, does that mean it actually is happening, or is there a really good shot, like of it, like really happening? Because I feel like the siren sounds pretty dangerous. Like if that does happen, it's most likely more like, holy shit, this might happen. I'm just trying to remember, like, San Andreas. Like, when that tsunami hit in San Francisco and the siren went off. And everybody was like, holy shit. Like, you know. <laughs> oh, that's why you haven't seen one, Ryan. <laughs> Chad just said it right now. Oh, okay, gotcha. Sick, though. Vladdy. Joe Adele.
Kyle Lewis. Hyper. We have a Navaldi Rodriguez, Rivaldo. And Will Craig. And Ryan, Ryan's going to shoot for the fences here, if that's the case. I, I want to say I thought i seen him in Topps Chrome, but that makes more sense. It's a Chrome update. See you, man. McKenzie, that's a nice one. Out of 399. I feel like I've seen Kellenek in Sapphire, though. No? Sapphire update? Austin Riley. Out of 199. Brian Hayes. Alejandro Kirk. Leody Tavares. And Humberto Mejia. It's a purple. It's a 250. Dylan Carlson. Uh, and Tyler Zuber. Kyle Lewis. It was a Kyle Lewis Mariners box, though. Kramer. Trout. I would assume that short print goes for some good money. There you go, guys. So, autograph wise, uh, the first four boxes of this case we got uh, Zuber, Mejia, we got Craig, Rodriguez, we got Garcia, Jorge Mateo, and then we got Cody and Ryan Weathers. And then we did get one negative, which is Kyle Lewis there. Let me just talk about these autographs. Again, I will post up another one. Um, and again, same same case. And it will be another promo break. I can't guarantee that the third one will be a promo break, but at least another one for sure. So right now, after I top load this, I'll uh, switch scenes. We'll give away the two spots in the break. And then that'll be it for us, guys. Thank you guys for the great night again. So switch knee, uh, twist knees, twist scenes, and let's get the customer names here. Paste you guys in. Roll it. Four and a one five times. One. Two. Three, four, five. Five times. Let's 
Steven and John A. Congratulations. Top two are in. Let's paste you guys in here. And this was the same one as yesterday, except number three. Oops. Appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.